You don't launch that many missiles at a target without the intent of hitting something. We condemn these reckless attacks by Iran and we call on Iran to halt any further attacks, including from its proxy forces. During the attack, the U.S. military coordinated closely with the Israeli Defense Forces to help defend Israel. U.S. Navy destroyers deployed to the Middle East region supported the defense of Israel by firing approximately a dozen interceptors against the incoming Iranian missiles. We were prepared uh, and we were able to successfully work alongside Israel to defend them from this attack. We'll continue to work alongside them to support their defense. Uh, as you're aware, Iran conducted a significant attack against Israel today, launching approximately 200 ballistic missiles targeting several locations in Israel. We condemn these reckless attacks by Iran, and we call on Iran to halt any further attacks, including from its proxy forces. During the attack, the U.S. military coordinated closely with the Israeli Defense Forces to help defend Israel. U.S. Navy destroyers deployed to the Middle East region supported the defense of Israel by firing approximately a dozen interceptors against the incoming Iranian missiles. Iran said that they gave a heads up to the U.S. and to Russia. Uh, how much warning were you given by Iran? Yeah, I'm, I'm not aware of any uh, pre-warning by Iran uh, about their potential attack. As you know, this is something we've been following very closely for a while uh, based on the threats uh, of retaliation by Iran. Uh, and so we've been closely consulting with Israel uh, for a while now to be prepared uh, in the eventuality. And as today demonstrated, uh, we were prepared. Uh, and we were able to successfully work alongside Israel to defend them from this attack. Let me go to Carla. Thanks, Pat. Um, any other U.S. Ass assets involved in this defense? Um, of course, we have a lot of capability in the region, uh, a lot of things that are there to be prepared for a wide variety of threats. But in terms of uh, the, the launching of these intercept interceptors, it was those two destroyers. You know, if you, if you take a step back here, we fully support Israel's right to defend itself. You just saw a, a, a you know, very significant uh, ballistic missile attack by Iran against Israel. Uh, and so, you know, we'll continue to work alongside them to support their defense. Um, we, of course, do not want to see a, a wider regional conflict. You've heard us say that many times, and we'll continue to work towards that end. Um, but we also fully understand uh, the fact that uh, this was a significant attack by Iran, and so we're going to continue to consult closely, uh, and we're going to continue to support their defense. Let me go to. Uh, were the United States uh, surprised by the scale of the Iranian attack on Israel? Well, look, like I said before, um, we've been monitoring this for a while. Uh, Iran had been very public uh, about its threats to uh, retaliate. Uh, and so it's, it's something that we've been monitoring. Uh, certainly this was a, a significant attack, uh, probably about twice the, the size in terms of scope uh, of what we saw earlier. Um, but again, we're still assessing the outcomes of this. Uh, and, and as I highlighted at the top, uh, we certainly condemn this reckless attack, this direct attack against uh, Israel, and we'll continue to uh, support Israel's defense. Um, you don't launch that many missiles at a target without the intent of hitting something. So absolutely, um, just like the last time, their intent is to uh, cause destruction. Uh, and so um, fortunately, you know, Israel has uh, very significant air defense capabilities and, and the U.S., of course, played a role in, in helping uh, on that front as well. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it.